I've just returned from the funeral of a very lovely man, Owen Gallagher, a friend and uh, a fellow activist. Um, and I want to once again pass on my sympathies to his partner, Carol Ann, and his family. But the reason I raise it in this particular question is because I first met Owen when he was a bin man working for the council in Bray. Uh, and he was fighting against the then drive to privatise uh, waste collection services. And he was very passionate, along with his colleagues, in fighting the privatisation of waste collection services. And the other feature of his life was he was an absolute passion, passionate environmentalist. Passionate environmentalist, all his life. And part of his motivation in fighting the privatisation of waste collection services was that he believed that the privatisation, which at the time was framed as if it was being done to some degree with the introduction of charges to improve the environmental situation, and he believed that was not true, that the opposite would happen, uh, and that in fact charges would just ratchet up and ratchet up and ratchet up, and it wouldn't improve. In fact, it might uh, worsen the environmental uh, situation. And uh, I think he and his colleagues were proven right and uh, when you look at the introduction of things like charges by private waste companies for brown bins now, you really see how the worst fears of people like Owen Gallagher and those who fought the privatisation of, of waste collection have turned out to be right. Uh, and I just wonder, does that lead the, the government to consider the growing campaign now to re to bring back under public ownership waste collection services Thanks, so they can actually be managed in an environmentally sustainable and beneficial Thank way. Deputy Murphy. Thanks. Uh, <coughs> Tisha. Tisha. And, uh, um, uh, thank, um, uh, thank the deputies for, for their uh, various questions. Um, try and cover as many as I can in my reply. Um, just in relation to uh, waste collection, um, I know from my own experience, we certainly from my experience, which mightn't be everyone's experience, I appreciate that. Um, we have a much better refuse service than we had uh, 20 or 30 years ago. We've black bins, we've green bins, we've brown bins, we've higher recycling rates. Um, I think actually a lot has been achieved uh, in that regard. Um, when it comes to re remunicipalisation, I, I really think that should be a matter for local authorities. Uh, there would be an upfront front cost, of course, in changing to that system, and there would be ongoing costs, which probably would have to be met. Uh, in the form of higher LPT or higher commercial rates or both. Um, what I would say to anyone who's put forward the proposal, be honest about it, show how it would cost, what it would cost up front, uh, what the ongoing costs would be, what the benefits would be, set it out and uh, make it part of your local election campaign and see if people uh, want to vote for it. Um, I, I'd put it as simply as that, but don't expect somebody else to pay for it. You have to be honest with people um, that uh, there would be a cost associated and that they would have to bear the cost, whether it's in the form of property taxes or commercial rates or, some, or something else. Um, Deputy Murphy, I, 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 I know you wish to characterise me in a certain way, but um, I'm not deeply ideological, really. Perhaps I was 10 or 20 years ago, um, but at this point, I'm really only interested in outcomes for people, uh, not ideology, and perhaps time and experience in government teaches you that. You try and get things done. Um, um, but what I would say is, is this, uh, Minister Ryan has assured me that the report in the Business Post on Sunday uh, was not accurate. The prices that we pay will be similar to those uh, in uh, similar jurisdictions. Um, and I believe the best way to harness the enormous potential that we have offshore is through a mix of public and private investment. Yes, it is the state. Yes, it's also state-owned enterprises but it's also private developers and it's also private capital. Um, and to me, that's a very practical approach. If you just go public or if you just go private, you'll get less done than if you have the public and the private sector both involved in getting this done. And that's the same approach that I take to, to housing, for example. Um, and if there's any ideology you want to ascribe to it, it would be the ideology of the social market economy, uh, which is the ideology that the EPP and my party would, uh, would subscribe to, uh, not a neoliberal one. The social market economy, going back to the Christian Democrats of decades ago, private and public sector working together in the common good. Um, 